A dozen iPhone Safari tips that everyone should know. You can easily rearrange tabs in Safari. Just open up the tab browser and then tap and hold on a tab and drag it just like this. So you can move your tab to the back or move it all the way to the front, just like that. If you like to keep lots of tabs open in Safari, this can be a great way to keep things organized. Of course, there are multiple ways to add tabs to Safari. One of the easiest ways if you have a 3D touch device is to 3D touch on the app icon and select add tab. But you can also tap the tab button in the bottom right hand corner and tap the plus button to add a new tab. You can also tap and hold on the tab button and select new tab. If you're already in the tab interface, definitely use the plus button, that's gonna be faster. But if you're not in the tab browser, you can simply tap and hold on the tab button and select new tab. Either way works. There are several ways to close tabs in Safari on the iPhone. Number one, in the tab browser, you can simply swipe on a tab like this from right to left or tap the X button in the upper left-hand corner. Or while viewing a tab, simply tap the tab button and select close this tab. It's safe to say that the paste and go and paste and search functions are unheralded features in Safari. Let me show you how they work. So basically if I have a URL in the clipboard, I can simply tap and hold on the address bar and then paste and go. Just like this, tap and hold, paste and go, and that will instantly take me to the URL, just like that. Now you can also use the same thing to search. So if I have a search term in my clipboard like this, I can simply tap and hold on the address bar and paste and search, just like that. And there's my search results. To quickly add a bookmark or a reading list entry to a page, all you need to do is tap and hold on the bookmark button and then select add bookmark or add to reading list. Super simple, super easy. To load the desktop version of a site, all you need to do is tap and hold on the refresh button in the address bar and select request desktop site. Now, in 2019, the majority of websites that we visit feature responsive designs, so this won't really have an effect. Did you know you could search your open tabs in Safari? To do so, open up the tab browser and then scroll all the way up to the very top and that will reveal the search tabs bar. So all you need to do is put your cursor there and then search for a tab. So I'm gonna put in ESP for ESPN, or I can put in nine to five, and that will bring up all of the nine to five related sites. Super cool. Now this one I first saw on Twitter and it blew my mind. I'll have the tweet link below in the description, but basically you can close all of the tabs that appear in your search tab results that I just showed you how to do in the previous tip. All you need to do is tap and hold cancel, and then you'll see closed five tabs matching, and then you'll have the search query there. Just tap that and it closes only those tabs. That's ridiculously cool. And to be honest, I never knew you could do that. You can access recently closed tabs by long pressing on the plus button in the tab browser like this. And now you'll see all of your recently closed tabs. These are all the tabs I just closed. And this allows you to quickly reopen those recently closed tabs. So all you need to do is simply tap on one and it reopens. Now you can easily access back and forward history within Safari. So let's go ahead and navigate through here on 9to5toys. We'll tap another link so we have some history. And now we'll go back. We'll go back again. All right, now if you long press on the forward button, it will reveal your forward history. So we're gonna tap done. And this time we're gonna go forward two times. And if we tap and hold the back button, it reveals the back history. Now I use this one all the time to quickly close tabs. Simply long press on the tab button and you can select close all tabs and it'll give you the number of tabs as well. You can also do so from within the tab browser when you tap and hold on the done button and close all tabs that way. And this last tip is more of a bonus tip because it applies to the iOS 12.2 beta so it's not available for everyone just yet. But do you notice those little arrows on the right of the search suggestions? Those arrows allow you to build on search suggestions. So if you tap that arrow, it'll place that suggestion in the address bar, but it won't submit the search, allowing you to continue to build on that search. Now, this is a feature that Chrome users have had for some time now, but now it is finally coming to Safari and it is such a handy tool, let me tell you. 
So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at a dozen different Safari tips for iOS that everyone should know. Did you know them all? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with the 9to5 Mac.